Hey everybody, welcome back to Brisk Bites. We are having a blast here in the feedback section of the Brisk Tools page. You can always find our launching point here at bit.ly slash try Brisk Tools. So we've been through the targeted feedback generator uh, from the very beginning of Brisk Bites. We just tried out the glow and grow, and now we're gonna pop over to next steps feedback. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click try it. Um, I've already kind of loaded one up on the side here. This is the same one we used in the Glow and Grow. It's just a simple seventh grade narrative example. Our students have been working on quotations and using dialogue. In the Glow and Grow, we got to see what they're doing well, where they could grow, and kind of that wondering, a nice layer to that Glow and Grow feedback tool. But we really want something prescriptive now. Part of that feedback that we often are missing in class with our students is is the layer where we give each student the next steps. So let's see what Brisk has to say about my seventh grader here who's written about the day they learned to ride a bike. I've put in for Brisk that students have been focusing on using quotations and dialogue. We've put in our standards that are relevant to this assignment, and I've given Brisk all the goodies here to get started. So we're going to Brisk it. Just like the glow and grow, we're working in a pop-up window this time. Brisk isn't going to put anything into this document until we're ready. So it's generated some next steps. It's got some things like review the rules for punc uh, punctuating dialogue. So maybe somewhere in here, the quotations plus the punctuation, they're just not working out right. And it gives an example. When writing dialogue, be sure to start a new paragraph each time. This is key information. Yes, you could go home and write this 35 times on different essays, but why not automate that process with Brisk and AI? Include more dialogue in your story to show the interaction between the characters. So now we're talking more qualitatively with our students about their writing. Um, so as you can see, we've got some great feedback here. I've got the copy all button, so I can go ahead and copy all of that. And then I can take it and put it into an IP goal. I can paste it into a progress report. I can paste it into my learning management system, or I can just insert it right here in the document and share it back to the student. And that looks like this. If I wanted to change it, take it out, add something to it, I could certainly do that as well. Look, someone needs to tell you that you are extra briskalicious today. You have been really nailing it with these brisk bites, and we are so proud of you. We're kind of coming to the home stretch here, so we can't wait to see what you're doing with brisk. Have you put anything on socials yet? Have you been to the brisk Facebook page? Have you joined us on LinkedIn? If not, a missed opportunity. We'll see you here for another brisk bite very soon.